Yo okay, in this video we're checking out the Talon F7. This is I think the first or one of the first 20x20 20 20 F7 flight controllers. So for those of you guys are building the micros with 20x20 20 20 boards and are looking for an F7, this is going to be the probably the one you're going to want to get. And this is also probably the most complete um, board that I've ever seen. Even if this were a 30x30 30 30 board, I don't think that there would even be one that could possibly rival this one. This has pretty much everything that you could possibly want on a flight controller and it's on a it's an F7 and it's on a 20 by 20 size. So let's go ahead and get everything out of the box here. Okay so here's the other stuff that comes in the box. You get the wiring harness that's going to go to your 4 in one ESC and uh, I'll be showing you various wiring diagrams uh, as I talk about the flight controller in the video but this one here will have a VBAP power and current sensor. I think also ESC telemetry. So you're going to need a uh, ESD that's going to offer similar pinouts, uh, at least on this side. And then the mounting holes here are M4 mounting holes. And so for vibration dampening purposes, it does include the little M4 to M3 grommets, as you can see here. And there's also these little adapters that convert the holes from uh, M3 to M2 it looks like. So it looks like all the various hard pieces are included. And, and interestingly enough, an XD30 uh, plug is included here as well. No wires, of course. Um, you get a few of these M3 spacer standoffs here as well. Uh, I guess that's to uh, help with the mounting, but yeah, all various mounting hardware here is included. So here's the board itself. Um, yeah, there's lots to see here, and just go over everything kind of one by one. Obviously, 20 by 20. You got an F7 chip here, so none of that uh, bizarre inversion stuff that you have with the F4. Um, they have inversion available to you on all the UARTs, which in fact this has a ton. This has six UARTs, and I believe uh, all. Uh, of the six, four of them are available as solder pads. Uh, this does come with a 32K gyro, which I think is that chip right there. And apparently there is some sort of filtering on this board that filters the noise for the gyro as well as the OSD, so you should have some pretty clean video. It does come with a 5 volt, um, 2 amp BEC. And then um, I'm going to just show you, as you can see here on, on, on the side of the board, not a lot of these um, solder pads here aren't silk screens, so you're going to have to refer to some diagrams to know what's what. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and pop that up on the screen right now so you can see what the board looks like with the various solder pads labeled. Okay, so here is the other side of the board, and this has just have some labeling here. There is these um, solder bridges here, so you can see here 5 volts or 3.3 volts. You're going to have to bridge that for your receiver here, and that's going to be, I think, um, this pad over here, either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. If you have a spectrum receiver, you're going to want to obviously use 3.3 volts for those satellite receivers, but most of you guys are probably going to want to go 5 volts. And then, so this is the side for the receiver. And over here you have LED, and then um, uh, over here you got your connections for your camera and video transmitter. And again, I'm going to put a diagram here on the screen so you can actually see what these pinouts are because it's a little hard to see in the silk screening. But again, you have another set of solder bridges here for VBAT or 5 volts. So you're going to bridge these two on the left for VBAT power and the two on the right here for 5 volt power for your camera and your video transmitter. And as I had mentioned earlier before, this does have six available UARTs to you. Uh, so it'll cover pretty much all the things this year we're going to need. Smart board telemetry, um, crossfire, um, your beta flight smart audio, all those things, a GPS, compass. This, this board pretty much will do it all. So um, there, I don't see uh, hardly any limitations with this board. And then uh, one other thing that I had, I think I forgot to mention, is that this board will do th up to 8S, so to 3 to 8S, where a lot of, most other boards are only going to do 3 to 6S, and actually most 20 by 20 boards are only going to do 2 to 4S, so 3 to 8S is pretty amazing, so you're definitely going to be future-proof on this particular board if you decide to get it. 
Yeah, so obviously with this board having so many features and just being just overall very useful, uh, I think I, I can see that a lot of people are going to be using this not only for the micro builds, you know, three inch and under, but also for those guys that are going to be wanting to go uh, for a little bit less weight on a five inch build, say like a racing drone, for example. And obviously you maybe use a 20 by 20 flight control like this, and then use a bigger, like say 30 by 30 490 AC uh, for obviously uh, I mean, bigger capacity for bigger motors, etc. And obviously going to 8S, this is definitely going to work with that, no problem, uh, with a bigger setup, even on 5-inch going to 8S. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this board. Um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to be putting into something. I'm not exactly sure what. I'm actually considering actually even putting this into a 5-inch. We'll see. But yeah, if you guys have any suggested builds or where you've seen this before or, or seen this in other types of builds out there, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Be, really interested to hear um, what this is being used for and I'm also wondering if there's other boards out here out there like this that are competing boards from different vendors because I've been kind of like looking at uh, finding more F7 20 by 20 boards but I'm not really aware of too many this is a this is the first one that I've seen and I'm definitely interested to know if there's other F7 20 by 20 boards out there that will do 3 to 8 S so if you know of any let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll bring that uh, out for a future video. Uh, in any event, that's going to do it for this overview of this board. And obviously we'll have a future video of this built into something. You guys can see how it'll perform, but I imagine this is going to perform just fine. It's just a flight controller, uh, 32K gyro. Uh, it does have good vibration dampening, so I expect performance to be pretty decent if this is um, put into a build properly. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, if you're waiting for that, uh, then... I'll probably put something in the description that this is being used in that particular build. So just uh, check those future videos and you'll see this in action. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.